okay. I, I'm kind of stuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I told her I said I, I want to I want to travel to Dubai and shit. <laughs> you know, so she might want to look at you know other schools, but she okay. It's her boyfriend. Good morning. We're back. <laughs> Table morning. salt. Carpool. It's Monday morning. <laughs> New week. New attitudes. <laughs> new attitudes. That's right. We hope that it's new attitudes anyway. <laughs> We're hoping that you guys are having a safe, starting your week off safely. You know, no issues, no concerns, no loss in your families and your friendship circles. Um, what are we going to talk about today? Let's talk about uh, the, the most recent article I read was on authenticity. <coughs> How about we talk about authenticity? Authenticity. Let's talk about that. What does it mean to be authentic? In leadership, in life, just in general. That's a good question. For me, authenticity. You know, I want people to um, be able to comfortably and openly engage with me in my professional setting as well as my personal setting. When I'm with you in my personal setting, I don't want you to be so surprised about who I am because I wasn't authentic to you, you know, in my professional setting. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't make certain adjustments in your colorful personality when you're at work. <laughs> Right, but you gotta know when to turn it on, when to turn it off. But does that mean that you're being fake? Well, I, I don't think that is, that means it's being fake. I think that that people work really, really hard to be something that the other person or the other people want them to be, and you can lose yourself in that process. I think there's something very valuable. It's very healthy about just being you. Oh, we have a caller. <laughs> well, I think this caller, we have to pick him up later. Sorry, caller. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, but I think that you end up losing yourself when you spend so much time trying to be who the others expect you to be or want you to be. There's something beautiful and something freeing about being who you are, staying true to who you are. Um, that There's no confusion in that when yeah. you are able to do that. There's no misunderstandings in that when, when you're able to be you, who you are. But, you know, at the same time, you, you're you cognizant of your surroundings, rather you're at work or you're in your personal space, um, and you make certain adjustments because some people may not be able to handle the, the real deal. Real deal. Yeah. I know that... Most people that I work with probably, <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, because I am, you know, I am who I am, um, and I tend not to give it all. The way that I deal with people who irritate me outside my office is completely different than the way I deal with people. I've seen that it. Irritate. Yeah, she's seen it. <laughs> I've probably yeah, no. not even seen the full extent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, just a little bit of it. <laughs> you know, I pull back just slightly. But, you know, it's just being cognizant of your space and being cognizant of and being, communicating with certain yeah, people. Yeah, and I think some of it comes from your sense or trying to be sensitive to the vulnerability of other people. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, sometimes that can be, that can go overboard. I mean, I love what you said about um, not worrying about what others opinions are mm -hmm. because you are expressing yourself as your true self mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um you know i had a misconception i'm not even gonna say it was a misconception i'm just gonna say that i had a limited perspective on what authenticity is because you know i thought it was about being transparent i, I you really don't ever have to guess what i'm thinking Mm -hmm. I may be quiet, I may not be talking, but that doesn't mean that I'm I'm there judging or, you know, I'm having some thoughts about some person or whatever. I may be, if anything, more critical of myself right. than, than other people. Right. But I think because I am quiet and reserved, that can be a put off to others because maybe they have their own filters that they the way they operate, they project that on me. 
but um, so I've learned that it's more than just being transparent it's more than just um, saying hey you don't have to guess who I am I'm this person today I'm gonna be the same person tomorrow but taking it a step further it is about not letting other people's opinions of you influence how you are I mean you'll always be trying to please people and, and that's just not possible to please everybody you have to be true to yourself and if you find yourself in a situation where you can't be true to yourself maybe you need to rem remove yourself from that situation yeah because there's nothing worse than spending I mean I don't know about our what you know the, our viewers out there but you know if you're full-time work you're spending a good 80 75 80 percent of yeah. your waking day and in, in the presence in of, the presence of other, other people, people you know and who wants to spend that much time first of all tap dancing that hard to make everybody happy all day long 24 hours mm -hmm. i mean you just sometimes mm -hmm. somebody's going to be unhappy but you be know? prepared though because if they are used to you being one way and then you decide okay i'm gonna be my true authentic self and they're gonna be like well, they're, they're gonna, gonna think that's fake yes they're yes, gonna be like yes, who's yes. this fake person all yes. of a sudden now you know you didn't got your new position you want to be authentic yeah you know and yeah. so then they don't receive it the same way so that's why it's important for you to come into the fray being as authentic as you can understanding your boundaries because of where you work and the type of vulnerable people that you may be you know working with but um, if you decide you know enough is enough I'm losing myself in this process you yeah know, there you just gradually kind of introduce people to the real you um, or even the new you I mean you can't be the same person um, in every situation sometimes you do have to adjust um, the way you respond to certain things mm -hmm. and the way that you handle people at different levels of um, leadership, mm -hmm. you know, you do have to make adjustments and that may be seen as, oh, well, she's changed. Changed because she got this new, you know, and that happened and I know it happened to you, but it happened to me as a young, you know, new per young person coming into corporate America and I was, you know, promoted to a new position and before then, um, you know, I was working with my colleagues doing work, you know, in the community, doing work in the office and, you know, and these are my colleagues that I would chop it up after hours, you know, a happy hour, weekend hours, whatever, mm -hmm. completely turned up. <laughs> and so, once I turned up, yes, I'm too old for that now, but, but we would just, we would hang real tough and whenever there was issues in, you know, on the, uh, in the, in the office. You know, I would always defend my friends and come to their rescue and challenge, you know, status quo and blah, 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 blah. But once I got into this new position, you know, I was kind of pulled aside. It's like, look, I know this person, this person, this person, your girls. Y'all kick it, y'all hang out, y'all club. Mm -hmm. But you're going to have to be able to hold them accountable as a leader. Can you do that? Can you switch on and off? And I'm like... You know, and can you realize that they may not be able to handle that? They may, right. it may take them a little a little while to get, to get used adjusted to, it. to the Absolutely. fact that it's changed for them as much as it's changed, changed for me. me. And you know, and I and I was I was fairly confident that the transition would be fine because I have always been very authentic with my friends in the office and even outside the office. Because while in the office we were still professional, you know, I still cut up with them in a the corner when nobody's listening in the bathroom, you know outside walking around just so that you know maintaining who I am but still enjoying my workspace so what I had to do was really sit with those people who were my friends mm -hmm. and let them know this is my new role this mm -hmm. is when it's going to start this Manage is what my responsibility yes mm -hmm. And, you know, and I told them, you know, there are going to be times where I need to hold you accountable and I need you to receive it, you know, <laughs> because I'm not going to do anything to be harmful of right, you. It's right. really about growth and professional development. And I received it. So that transition for me was very seamless. And that's not the case for every person who's going through that type of transition. It may not work the same. You may have friends and you try to have that same conversation and be like, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, or maybe your friends were the ones who wanted that position. Uh -oh. You know, now with my friends, they were celebrating me getting that position because <laughs> for them, they weren't even qualified to apply. So, you know, they were like, we want you to have the position. We hope you get it. We need more, you know, diversity in that particular department. So they celebrated the achievement so that made it easier for that transition. But that 
may not be the case for everyone. Yeah. So as we close, I think the biggest takeaway for me when it comes to authentic authenticity is just having to overcome that biggest challenge that I know I'm probably not alone, but just overcoming that sensitivity to other people's vulnerability. I think that I'm doing them uh, a service by being careful with my words or, um, you know, uh, kind of coddling the situation when I just needed to speak what was on my mind. And then after I spoke what was on my mind, let whatever happened, happen. Right. Because at the end of the day, it's always going to be okay. It always is. It's it always, always is. okay. It's always okay. It's always okay. Tell us about your situation. Yes, being please. Being vulnerable comment. and being authentic. Yes, comments. we want to hear about it. So, like, share, share, and comment. And comment and join us next time. We'll see you there. Bye. Bye.